it's time to change the oil on the old girl here. And this isn't going to be a how-to video or anything because I'm assuming that most of you 4Runner owners already know how to change your own oil. We're just kind of hanging out today, playing with cars. Oh, and by the way, what's everybody's opinion? Black housing headlights or no? I'm still kind of on the fence. I did a poll on Instagram a little while ago and uh, I'm still undecided. So let me know your opinion. Let's keep it Canadian and go down in the comments and either put a friggin' right bud or a hard no. Yeah, we'll do that. Perfect! Well, that's draining. Let's have a little chat about the Forerunner. I've been kind of neglecting it detailing wise lately, so it's definitely due for some attention. And I think I mentioned in a previous video that I was thinking about bringing you guys along for like a Forerunner TLC series. And I've decided I'm doing it. So the first thing on the list was obviously the oil change today. And pretty much everything else is going to be detailing related. The funny thing is, when I when it comes to working on and detailing my own vehicles, I either like I'm on one end of the spectrum or the extreme other. I'll either like cut corners and skip things and let things slide, or I crank it all the way up to 11 out of 10 and just go crazy on it. And I think on this one we're gonna go all out. We're gonna do a, an epic 400 detailing series. Remember what I was just saying about cutting corners when working on my own vehicles? I thought I was going to be a smart guy and avoid unbolting the back of the skid plate to get the filter off. So I used this, uh, used this little funnel thing that we use for getting little filters off Harleys. Because it's got a hose that I can run into the, into the, the tray. And <laughs> as you can see, Well, that just didn't work at all. So, uh, <laughs> got a bit of a mess to clean up, and it looks like we got some free rust proofing on the skid plate on the house. Bonus. I swear, sometimes you get into the most trouble when you start to think that you're smart. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be going with a Toyota filter this time. Uh, I did a just a generic one from the parts store last time. And I noticed as soon as I put it on that it's actually a different size. So back to Toyota filters. I'm gonna pop that on and uh, clean up my mess and we'll be done under there. Now you might be wondering, hey Tim, what oil do you run in the 4Runner? Well, that's right, not synthetic. Now before you keyboard warriors get your uh, fat little fingers all warmed up, hear me out. These 4.7s are known for being really easy on oil and a lot of people have even sent their old oil out for testing and after a certain number of miles it came back and it was still practically like brand new. So. Being a Toyota truck, of course, living up to the name, these things will pretty much run on anything. The other thing is, I change my oil every 5,000 kilometers. 
kilometers, not miles, too. And one of the biggest advantages to switching to synthetic is your long oil change intervals. But I change it every 5,000K, so I got nothing to gain from that. And even this old dinosaur oil, it's good for 5,000K. To me, it's more important to have like clean, fresh oil changed often than it is to buy into all the fancy marketing crap that the, the companies are trying to sell you on. In this case, she gets uh, whatever's on sale, dude. So if you're all hyped up on running synthetic oil, hey, more power to you. But uh, I'm not, so go wine somewhere else. So I guess today is going to be sort of an intro to the whole series. It's going to be mostly detailing oriented, but we'll be dealing with a little bit of rust and a little bit of maintenance stuff. I'm going to be cleaning up the suspension and the engine bay, uh, getting the interior protected, and then finally correcting and recoating the paint because the ceramic coating on this has pretty much reached the end of its life after all my torture testing. But before we dive into making this thing pretty, I'm gonna take it off-road and screw it up a little bit more first. There's too many detailing videos on YouTube these days that start out with brand new supercars and or vehicles that just aren't even dirty to start with. Well, we're gonna be changing that hopefully a little bit with this one. My goal is that this is gonna be a, a series that uh, the regular car guy can relate to for once. Yeah, watching Ferraris get polished and stuff is great, but uh, this is the real world stuff right here. So if all that sounds interesting to you, then stick around. And by the way, I just hit a thousand subscribers last night, which is awesome. You guys rock. So yeah, stick around. And uh, we're going to make this thing look like a show truck. Just so I can kick the crap out of it again, like usual. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one.